Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sustainabilities. I've got a question for you about tomatoes. Are your tomato plants getting pretty crazy right now? As we get into the summer, tomatoes grow very aggressively and you really have to make sure um, to keep them healthy and keep them pruned. And so I wanna to talk to you guys just a little bit about pruning your tomatoes today. You see this tomato plant right here. We've made sure to only give it a few branches coming up from the ground so that it didn't get too dense. But even though we did that, it's still getting crazy. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna remove leaves that aim towards the inside of the plant. Anything that is in the shade during the daytime has got to go here in the mountains of Western North Carolina. We're also gonna remove all these little shoots like this. You'll see them coming up in the leaf axles. Uh, you can see one right here. It's coming up right at, up above where there was a leaf right there that I've already pruned off. We don't want to let too many of those grow because it gets it too tight in here and we don't get good airflow. And so you can see there's a leaf that was on the inside. Here's another leaf on the inside. And then we can see right here, here's one of those little guys growing out of the axle. We're gonna cut that out. And it's hard to cut this stuff out because you know that, yeah, tomatoes are gonna grow on this material, but the thing is, is if your plant gets choked and you get the blight, you're not gonna get any tomatoes. Um, I cut off branches sometimes that have little green tomatoes on them. It's just part of it. You have to be okay with um, losing a few tomatoes here and there to ensure that you get the ones um, that you really wanna get. Another thing is you wanna make sure to tie your tomato plants up uh, so they don't fall over in the rain. We have found a great little product here. It's a Velcro tape, and you can just cut little pieces of it. You can see this little guy right here is heavy, and he's falling over in the rain. And so we're gonna come in over here, and we're gonna attach him to the fence with this Velcro tape. It works really well. You just Velcro it on, just like a little kid's tennis shoes and it holds it right in place. It's actually really strong. We've had our plants make it through some pretty heavy duty rainstorms and this Velcro tape has held them in place, no problem. Another thing to take into mind um, when you're working with your tomato plants is making sure to provide them with the nutrients that they need. A healthy plant's gonna be more resistant to disease. And you can help your plants along by using products that encourage a healthy uh, microbiotic community on the leaf surface. There's a wonderful product called Serenade. Um, there are several others on the market that are really similar to that. I'm not being paid by Serenade, but um, you know, it's just a product that we use. And we really like it a lot because what it does is it sprays a, a probiotic bacterium on the surface of this leaf and allows that to establish. So when disease spores land on that plant, they're not gonna be able to get a hold because there's already a healthy community in place. I hope that what I've talked about today helps you guys out and keeps your tomatoes growing beautifully. Have a great day.